princes and princesses. My name is Starry and I am here with another video. This time it is a haul and unboxing. I have this lovely package from Devil Inspired. It is my first time ordering from them. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. While Get we're down. opening this up, I just figured I would mention what Devil Inspired is. Devil Inspired is a Taobao reseller. Taobao is basically like a Chinese, so Chinese Amazon <laughs> that only ships right, out to China and you can only ahead, get stuff from it with a shopping service or through Taobao resellers. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this should be uh, almost everything I ordered. I did order three dresses and one petticoat. One dress will be missing uh, from this just because that dress was on pre-order and it still hasn't been shipped from the factory that made it to here yet. So uh, that's gonna take a little bit, but this should be all the ones that they had in stock. In total for this order, it was about $213 and I did do standardized shipping for it. Um, Trying to figure out a place for this to open. I think I'm gonna, oh no, there we go. <laughs> uh, so this should be the two dresses and the petticoat. Get to it. All right, so this, we'll start with, I guess, the kind of least exciting thing and then go to the whole reason why I made this order. So I have a hoop skirt petticoat that is absolutely my favorite thing. Uh, it is adjustable but it's in a bell shape and I don't like adjusting it. So I figured why not just have one petticoat in A-line and one petticoat in bell and that is what this is. So as you can see, it's just like a, a KG hoop skirt. The lining area is elastic, so it does stretch. It is a free size though, so I wouldn't say this would go past like maybe a large, just if you're thinking about getting it. On the sides, it does have a classical puppets lining there. And then it also still has the tag for it. Which is classical puppets on the top. Yeah, so I think I'm very happy with this. Hopefully it'll work out. We'll try it later. It is a little wider than I thought it would be. This next piece I wasn't quite sure about getting. Um, I think I might actually have to edit it a little, a little later because you know we love being controversial on this channel. But. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. Seeing this dress now, I'm definitely so happy that I bought it. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get it open. All right. Oh, they, they included some sort of bows. I guess let's open up that first and then I'll show you the dress. So it looks like they included some of the head bows and materials, which is really cool. I didn't know that it came with it. So, um, or maybe they attach to the dress. I don't know, but it comes with these ties that are the, the red and they're pretty long. They're just a nice, simple satin, very nicely put together. And then it comes with these two small bows with the print on them. And they're very cute. And then on the back, it has kind of like this, this pin thing so you could pin it to a, a blouse or um, to be completely honest with you, I, if I do pigtails, I'd probably just use them in my hair instead of uh, wherever else they're supposed to be. And then there's this big massive bow. Same detailing with the print. I love how it's kind of got the, the alternate details on it. And then it's got the same thing on the back, the same little kind of clippy pin kind of deal. Now for the dress. So this is Magic Tea Party's Rose Knight. Knight spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. And it's O-P. I really wanted the JSK of this dress, but unfortunately they did not 
have uh, the JSK because the JSK was done as a uh, pre-order only. So it's got the Magic Tea Party tags on it. It's got this lovely lacing. The lacing here is a little coarse. Um, um, so it has this beautiful lace detailing on, what is it called? The color of the dress. And it's got a pretty little button here that is undoable. It looks like the buttons go all the way down this front area so you can unbutton them. It is full sleeves and that's what I was talking about earlier. I'm definitely going to have to edit these sleeves. I really kind of don't want to though because look how lovely the sleeve is. It's got a little bow on the side. That's nice. And it's got the same lace around the collar on the sleeve on the back. It does have a little kind of lace-up corset backing, but there is no shearing on this dress, and I knew that when I bought it, and that is why I bought it in a size medium instead of a size small. Size small. And then we have the print of the dress. I, I will probably, <laughs> oh, I didn't go too far down, which I'll probably put down below, but it's basically just a bunch of characters. And they're so cute. I love how it's got like kind of the nautical kind of drapery deal going on. And then, oh, each one of them has names. So you have Sophia and Octavian, uh, Marshallin, Mar Marhalin. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Ox. It's really cool because they've all got like rose detailing on them and like a crest behind them and there's roses everywhere. Oh, I'm actually quite happy with this dress. Uh, underneath of it, it does have like kind of a, a sheer smock kind of deal. It almost feels like a muslin fabric, but it's very cotton and it looks, feels like very comfortable. So that'll be very nice. But there is no uh, built in poof in this dress, it looks like. It's definitely one where you have to wear a petticoat with it. But yeah, I'm actually quite happy that I bought this dress, even though I saw on the fence with it before. I actually had to uh, buy this dress as a replacement dress for something else that I'd ordered, but I will get to that in the review section. Okay, I'm not quite sure what these are, so I'll open those. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and open those next. It looks like they included um, some socks, which is really nice. This is Lion Show Run on it. Okay. So, like I said, this is Lion Show Run on it. It is very similar um, lace to actually the lace that was on the dress. These are not the matching socks and I did not order these so I wonder if it was just like a free gift that they that they threw in. Uh, which is very nice because they're not sponsoring me. I forgot to say that earlier that this is a, a non-sponsored review of them. But these will be really nice. And then they gave me this but I have no idea what it is. On the top it does say sexy. Which, you know, if you're in Lolita, that raises a little red flags. Because <laughs> Lolita is not a sexual fashion. In fact, it's supposed to be opposite. But we're going to go ahead and open this. It looks like it's tight. Still have no idea what these are. <laughs> oh, these are, these are very soft. They are kind of like tights. Um, this is really nice. I'm gonna put it on my hand so that you can see the detailing on this. They're very soft, very comfortable. Um, they've got little heart detailing going up and then it ends in like a little lacy kind of fabric. These are very, very soft. They're kind of like in an off-white cream. I don't know if, if Sexy is the brand or if their brand is called something else but that's really nice of them to kind of throw in and then we have the dress that started this whole order 
I, I don't know how many times on this channel I can stress enough that I love stars. It's in the name of my channel. Um, it's something that I've said in like at least the past four videos, probably three or four times. And when I saw this dress, it just screamed me. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you, even even just from looking at it in the package, looking at the stars glittering, oh, I'm so ready. All right. So straight off the bat, this fabric is super soft. Uh, on the top of it, it has some more bows like the other one did. I'm guessing like they put all of the detachable bows and lace ties on the top so that you don't lose it, which is, I think is very smart. Um, so I have some, what looks like blue corset ribbon and then some gold corset ribbon. I don't know if they're interchangeable or if they're for two specific things. I guess we'll see about that later. Uh, then we have three bows here, which I'm gonna bring close up. Absolutely beautiful living for the star detailing and just like before they have like the little pin backings on them for all three and all three of them have the same design as the dress so getting into this dress this is from souffle song or neverland however you want to call it I don't know why that brand has two names if you know why it has two no two names please just comment down below but the bodice looks like this. This is uh, a wish for the constellations, JSK. And so right from the bat, you've got this gorgeous lace detailing right here in blue. The um, JSK sleeves have the same lace detailing on the side. And all over, it's just got this gorgeous, starry, metallic print. It's a very simple kind of chiffon fabric, but all over it, it's got these stars and these moons. On the back, it does have full, like a half panel of shearing that does stretch out pretty nicely that's why I ordered this one in a small and then it has like little loops for I'm guessing the uh, ribbons or kind of waist ties deals because I don't see anything else for them it goes from that to this oh, I love this dress this is one of my dream dresses if you didn't know I will leave a link up to the the dreamy dress diaries or whatever I decided to call it there. <laughs> I also forgot to say that links to everything that I bought um, today will no, also I'm be in the description. Just, uh, very, very, very happy that I bought this dress. I am probably not gonna try this on until tomorrow. So I will go ahead and let future Hana do that tomorrow. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the actual review section of this. I first had the idea for this series where I would go through and buy from Taobao resellers just to see uh, which ones are kind of the best ones to go about. And of course I heard about Devil Inspired because many other YouTubers have, well Lolita YouTubers, have already gone through and reviewed them but they've always been sponsored, I've noticed. Like Lovely Lore, Hello Batty, uh, Claire Max, there's a, a ton of other ones that I can't just think of off the top of my head, but they've all been like very sponsored. Devil Inspired has really been out there for the Lolita community lately and supporting it as best as it can. And I'm all for, you know, companies that sponsor other Lolitas because they're kind of their biggest client. Two things that I guess I really wanted to figure out here was, is their shipping as good as they say? And how good was their selection, their site, their ordering? because shopping services are one thing that has terrified me since getting into the Lolita community. Um, and it's mostly just because I had a bad experience with, with uh, Yoibai once. And 
it's just terrified me ever since. Like I've just decided to never do it again. I might try a few later on, but for right now, I figured sticking to Taobao resellers since I love a lot more, uh, I'm more interested in what the indie brands put out than uh, kind of the big major brands and that's kind of more around my budget. So I thought I would just go through and try all of this out and see where it all goes. So I will say that Compared to other Taobao resellers, Devil Inspired has a ginormous collection and they are constantly getting in new stock, which is pretty impressive because they seem to keep everything uh, as well organized as they possibly can. Ordering from their site was very simple, it was very easy, and um, I will say the communication that they had with me for that beginning part was very nice. <laughs> Then we get into a little bit of a kind of not so nice moment here for just a second. So when I was ordering from Devil Inspired, I originally had ordered three dresses and I heard me say earlier that I did not originally order the Rose Knight OP. And this was because I originally had ordered this set right here. Um, so a little while after I placed my order, it had been confirmed, I got this email basically saying that the company who was or the brand that was making the dress decided not to make the dress because there wasn't much interest and this kind of threw me off because I didn't think that was like how it worked I feel like after you've already promoted something so hard you should just go ahead and release it for the orders that you have paid for and then go from there but I don't know much about Chinese brands uh, or any brands or their mode of operation but it just kind of threw me off because that isn't something in any of their frequently asked questions or anything like that that they say can happen. They do mention that there are two different types of pre-orders but one says that it's like limited quantity, quantity and the other one is like they only make for how many orders they get. So I thought it would be kind of one or the other and that kind of just threw me off so I didn't know what to do. So then I said that was fine. There was another dress that I had been really wanting. Uh, it was around the same price range, maybe just a little cheaper actually. Shortly after showing that, I got this email, which if you see is from a completely different person uh, from the same company, but I figured maybe they just traded off uh, emails and so it says that that pre-order was completely fine and that they would have it all settled and squared away for me. Right after I sent like an... Sorry, that's my sister. Right after I sent off a, a confirmation email saying, okay, great, awesome, that works, just refund like the difference and it'll be perfectly fine, I got this email from the first person who sent me the first email saying that they couldn't do that one either. It looked like that pre-order was also not gonna get made. And so at that point, I was just all kinds of lost and confused because I had just been told that it was fine and that it was okay. So I sent another email and I was like, hey, I'm not sure what's going on. I basically just went through, looked through everything. I sent one email that was like, I'm sorry, what's going on now? And then in the second email, I wrote a long thing basically just saying like hey it's fine I don't want to cancel my order because that was another thing uh, they kept asking me if I just wanted to cancel the order altogether and this was in the middle of the it's not not Black Friday but the the other kind of thing I think it was like Cyber Monday or something like that it was a really good deal and I really didn't want to pass this up so I didn't want to cancel my entire order so I gave them like two different options with like two different dresses and combinations and I was like just any one of these any one of these are things I'm interested in whatever you guys have in stock it's perfectly fine just like one of those uh, and then I got another email saying that they're so sorry about the inconvenience they switched it out for the Rose Knight OP in red and that everything else should be fine that was it that was kind of like the last email that I had gotten fast forward they say that pre-order takes about three months. It, uh, actually, what it says is two to three months for the handling time. And so I figured that was fine. I ordered this in November. And I'll leave like dates and everything 
pictures of all that right here for the original order. Uh, so I waited for November and then around February, so November, December, January, February, the beginning of February, um, I sent an email because I hadn't heard anything back yet and I was just kind of wondering, hey, you know, what's going on? I haven't heard anything back about my order. It, did something go wrong? I was just kind of like, hey, I was kind of trying to make a video on this. I want to know where this is at, where it stands. In basically, I was just trying to figure out what was going on with my order. And I very quickly got this email back, basically saying that they had everything ready for my order except for the pre-order dress that I had ordered. And that was because it hadn't been sent off from the factory yet due to the coronavirus COIVD19 uh, outbreaks going out. They just figured that they had some problems getting that out to me. But that since everything else was ready, if I wanted, I could split the order and they would send this, what they had to me immediately. And then they would just send the uh, every everything or everyone is suffering JSK later on. Um, I asked them if that would have any extra shipping fees. They responded back saying no, we recalculated the freight, it should be all fine. And I was like, perfect, awesome. They sent this out as soon as I sent that email. Uh, like two days later, I got a confirmation that it was delivered to the post office in Nanjing, China. And then now it is March 9th and I have received everything. So I think all in all, I got confirmation that it was in the States three days ago. It was in, um, oh gosh, this is gonna kill me. It was in Chicago. It was in Chicago and it was in Chicago for like two days and then it was in Florida. <laughs> and then it was here. So um, it was actually really quick shipping, even though all I did was standard shipping. I did not have priority, I just did standard EMS packet. There's no customs, but I live in the States, so customs is much higher. And I did see that it looked like they might have marked down the package to like $15, when that's definitely <laughs> a lot less a uh, lot less than what I bought this for. But overall, I'm really happy with Devil Inspired. I would say if there are only two criticisms that I would say I would give them, it would just be uh, just be more consistent with the communication. I think if somebody had just reached out a little sooner and been like, hey, just so you know, your pre-order is taking a little bit longer than it says, but don't worry, we'll get it out to you. I would have been a little more relaxed than me having to go in and being like, hey, uh, what's, What's going on with my order there? Is everything fine? Is everything okay? Um, but, you know, all in all, everything has come in. I love the quality of the dresses. I know you can't really judge Devil Inspired on the quality of their dresses as they're a Taobao reseller, but I am really happy with the quality of the dresses. They came very nicely packaged, not damaged at all. The shipping was very quickly was very quick, even though I did the standard shipping. And uh, yeah, I would definitely. Oh gosh, my brain just kind of my brain just blanked. I would definitely recommend Devil Inspired to any newer Lolitas or any Lolitas who have been in the community for a long period of time. I think their shipping is excellent. I think their communication is really nice. I would just say be careful about those pre-orders. Make sure that you read everything and. Um, Make sure you always have backup options if you're going to order a pre-order dress. Uh, that is all for this video. Have a magical rest of your night. Stay magical, guys. Bye.